So I believe another one of the quests told us to go to talk to Pokemon of the Lakes. And I have not um activated that quest in my uh, my quest line because I think I know how to find my way over here at this point. But let's just uh jump on our magic flying fish. Whatever it was called. And enter the uh, enter the cave. And this is going to be uh who's this one? Meesprit? Meesprit's cave. Alright, same to you, Meesprit. So, do we have to fight again? Do I have to, like, throw dudes at you? Alright, I have to throw dudes at you. Is this where I get to catch you for real? This might be where I get to catch you for real. So, you're gonna use Swift. I am going to attempt to... I guess, uh, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be, like, as difficult or as long and arduous and... Like, Pokeball grindy as catching Pokemon in regular, catching legendary Pokemon in regular, um, Pokemon games. But, let's see, you're gonna land a critical hit on me, that's a little annoying. I'm going to strong style myself a, um, a draining kiss. It's gonna give me some HP back. Not a lot, I guess. Don't score another critical hit. Alright, you're probably gonna take Gardevoir down, because I think you're gonna get two turns in. And if not, I'll only hang on by a sliver. Alright, I did not hang on. Um, let's see. Typhlosion, like, I could just have Typhlosion hang in there and, and just, like, tank. Uh, I don't really want to rely on Typhlosion. Um, as I'm sure you all are no doubt aware, Typhlosion is the one thing that I've been not, like, switching out of my party uh, periodically. So, he, uh, he is the easily the, uh, the strongest member of my party. Let's, uh, let's Agile style a double edge. I don't think that'll kill you. You're 14 levels stronger than me. Alright, um, I should be able to do that once more, and, and bring you down to low elf, and from there, we can start doing Pokeball time. Alright, so you're gonna use Swift on my face, um, what's the X button? That's the X button. Uh, I guess, uh, should I start with the Great Balls, get those out of, no, start with the Great Balls, get those out of my inventory. All right, let's see how this goes. One. All right, I don't know if I just got cosmically lucky or if legendary Pokemon have actually just been made easier to catch in this game than they have been in uh, traditional Pokemon games. There are two more light Pokemon left to be caught. All right, so that's gonna do it for, that's going to do it for, uh, for like, uh, what's this, Verity? Man. Acuity is the one up north. Valor, Valor is the one by Pastoria, because that's I know that one. So this would have to be like Verity. Um, all right, let's uh, let's get out of here. Number caught one, which is the max because there only is one Mesper to catch in this game. Uh, number of times I've seen it use mystical power, recover a strong and agile style move. So I guess so. Those probably going to be like the uh, criteria from most legendary Pokemon. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it will be. Anyway. Where am I going next? I guess I go to Lake Valor next. Do him in order. Oh look, another Wisp! There's only eight left in this area. I was not intending to go out of my way to look for those, but I guess I... I guess I have indeed found one. I like how dark the cave entrance is through the fog. When you come in here, it's a little strange, and I don't know if it was like intentional or not. I can go up on the top of this, of the top of this rock. All right, that's cool. Anyway, no, 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 no. I want to. Thanks, game. All right, whatever. So who's gonna be in here? This is gonna be uh, Yuxi, right? Azelf. All right, it was either Azelf or Yuxi. It was one or the other. I had a 50-50 chance. But anyway, let's see. Who do I want to toss out front? Um, no, I don't really appreciate that. Let's go with Braviary again, just because I'm kind of tired of leading everything with Typhlosion unless I, like, have to. And, um, Braviary is a very cool Pokemon indeed. So you're going to adopt a hard-hitting stance. Um, don't know what that's for, but let's see. I'm going to regular style of Brave Birds because at full health, I don't think that's going to take you down or any anything close to it. All right, so if I Agile... The next one, that should be a pretty good range. You're gonna swift me. That's gonna hurt a little. 
Um, given that Azelf does have pretty pretty high attack and you are 13 level stronger than me, but let's see. And even did I accidentally strong style that, or did even agile style was that even too much? All right, well, to battle once more. Yeah. Okay. So if I if I do screw. Wait, hang on. If I do screw this up, uh, the game will just not only let me, but force me to do it over again. So, um, let's, uh, let's go with... Interesting. Let's go with two Agile-style Brave Birds this time, or maybe a Brave Bird and a... Uh, uh, the other one. What's the other one? Double Edge. Because, uh, that one's not stabbed. Because I'm part Psychic instead of part Normal. Alright. Let's try this again. Did I get experience from taking you down the first time? I don't think I did. But whatever. Alright, so... Definitely, that was about half. Definitely don't want to do that much. Um, let's... Let's agile style a double edge, and that should put you in range for catching. Alright. Not bad. And you're going to do something that's going to take me down. Goodbye, Braviary. I'm sorry, but... That's just something that happens when you go and catch legendary Pokemon. Um, Typhlosion. Sleeker is a bit of a special tank, but I don't know if being 19 levels weaker is going to be pushing it just a little too far when it comes to um, trying to tank against the legendary Pokemon. Anyway, so this is going to be a great ball. Let's see if we can replicate our luck with the last one. One. Alright, did not did not get you that time. Things only shake once in this game. They don't shake three times, right? So there's really ow, good gravy, alright. That sucked. There's really no point counting them off, is there, of me. Anyway, so that's going to be an Ultra Ball, so that's gonna have a slightly better catch rate against well, everything. And Azelf did not did not think so. Alright, you're gonna grow enraged. You're gonna raise your offensive stats as if you needed that. You're gonna raise your defensive stats. Alright. So I have a feeling it's going to be less tanking now, and more just like, do I have enough Pokemon to outlast this thing until until I'm able to catch it in something. Alright, Gardevoir, you're up next. Take reduced damage from Exosensory, but somehow I don't think that matters very much here. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully the lesson to be learned from fighting Mii Spirit was that it's easier to catch legendary Pokemon in this game than it is in most games, and I won't be sitting here for forever. And that is indeed what happened. Slash didn't happen. And we've caught ourselves an Azelf. There was one more left to catch. Did anyone get experience from that? I don't know. Let's go to Lake Acuity. Braviar's Pokedex entry has been completed. That's fun. And Azelf, I'm guessing... I was self-destruct as one of your, uh, your research tasks, is it? Amusing. Anyway, Azelf is level 3, as was Misprit. And here we are. Snoozler once again thinks it's a good idea to grab onto the door. Whatever, Snoozler. So we're going to fight a Uxie. Uh, Uxie is the more defensive of the Lake Trio, so I don't think I'm going to be, like, getting creamed quite as hard um, as I was against some of the other ones, but uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Um... Does Gardevoir have a uh, ghost type move? Let me uh, let me check that real quick. Uh, Gardevoir, if you have a ghost type move, or I do not have a ghost type move. Does anyone else have a ghost type move? I can't. Why can't I? Uh, yeah. Why can't I just like scroll through with the L and the R buttons? I mean, I have some ideas about why, but I can scroll through with uh with the the D pad uh, in this menu. I think, I know Typhlosion has a, uh, a ghost-type move. Um, Garchomp, oh, Rylu has Crunch. Um, Garchomp doesn't have anything, Saluga doesn't have anything, Typhlosion, Gardevoir. Alright, so... Alright, who do I want to have fight you? Um... Let's have Garchomp do it. I like Garchomp. Show the, uh, the legendary Pokemon the power of being a pseudo-legendary Pokemon or... Whatever, so that's a little less than half. Uh, your defensive stats are going up. Alright, that's perfect. Alright, if I do this, I can get off two hits in the next, um... Before, before Yuxa gets to move. 
Um, that did next to nothing. This is going to do a little bit more next to nothing. Uh, I think this will be doing like 60% more in total. Uh, yeah, I didn't quite bring you down to half. Hypnosis missed. Okay. Uh, that's good. But you are going to strong style a mystical power, and that's going to be it for Garchomp. All right. Sorry, Garchomp. And your defensive stats are going up again. All right. Well, we've... We've made some progress on you. Um, again, I could bring in Typhlosion, your Shadow Ball, and I think I could probably get away with just using one Shadow Ball on Typhlosion. Um, I don't necessarily want to, but let's try a uh, let's try a Brave Bird and see what Brave Bird does on a regular style. All right, so I can actually get away with a couple of those. Um, let's strong style a Brave Bird and then start checking Pokeball, shall we? I think this should be approximately... Approximately how much damage I want to do. Alright, great. So, Yuxi is going to use Swift on me. Uh, your super effective- or your stab psychic, psychic type moves, rather, are not going to be, uh, very effective on my partial psychic Braviary. So, I can switch over to the, uh, Pokeball menu and toss an Ultra Ball and hopefully we won't be sitting here for too long. All right, we got a shake out of that at least. Uh, you're gonna grow enraged. All right, your offensive stats are going up and your defensive stats are going up and you're gonna swift and Braviary should be able to at least, all right. Didn't even get the sentence out before I was proven wrong. Um, that is fine game, I guess. Gardevoir, you're also, also a psychic type. You don't resist swift, but hopefully at least your stab move will be kept at bay and we can catch you quickly. All right, and we have caught ourselves a Yuxi. I did see that you got experience in that. I saw it for a couple frames that was uh, like the party menu was on the UI and I heard a level up noise, but that's Draco Plate. Feeling a little disappointed that I did not get to pick up a Draco Plate from actually fighting a dragon, but you know what? I'll, uh, I won't say no to the Light Trio. So. I'm going to go and go back to town, and we're going to see what our next objective is. I want to say the uh, the volcano was another one, and the crescent moon was the last. All right, before I do that, I did see that there was another NPC side quest for me up here in the Pearl Camp, and this is going to be up by the uh, by the top of the town. All right, this is a uh, this is Aridia. What do you want, Aridia? I was just about to go and find you and tell you about this precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? Uh, pff, sure. As you should be, there isn't a single person in all of Asisui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. Alright. Are you gonna tell me more? Uh, but anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want to do? Um, you want to battle. Exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours, like what you did at Top Mount Coronet. Now give me one moment. I need to center myself. All right. Are we going to do this now or are we going to do this later? Because I do need a heal. All My partners and I are going to get stronger and travel across this wide world. Okay, so we are going to battle now. That's a problem. Wait, is it? Did I get healed? Like... Did I, did I just get healed? Um... Okay, that was very nice of you. Let's see, so Glaceon and Espeon. So I don't really want to be out here against a Glaceon. Um... Let's see, someone who can take an ice type move, really that only leaves Typhlosion. Um, yeah. This is also oh, uh, this is three on one. In addition to in addition to being against a, an ice type move who's level 60. Um, let's see. The one I want to get rid of most, I think, is Espeon. Espeon has the highest special attack. 
Um, let us use a Shadow Ball on Espeon. Yeah, um, definitely gonna want to get in as many turns as possible. Definitely gonna want to get in as many turns as possible. Oh, you're on level 32, okay. Um, Glaceon was 64, right? Alright, so you're gonna use Ice Cube, that's gonna be not very effective. That's gonna do about that much damage. And you're gonna use Flamethrower, that's also gonna be not very effective. That's why I was more worried about Espeon than you, but I think if... If Espeon is the only, was only level 32, then I don't really have anything to worry about there. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're 64. So, if I go and use myself a rollout here, uh, that is going to be it for Flareon, in short order. And... You're gonna Agile style another uh, Baby Doll Eyes. Alright, so that's gonna lower my attack. Both my offensive stats, because this game, when when a move lowers your offensive stats, it lowers both of them. Anyway, um, if I were to go and and use a rollout again, despite my offenses being lowered, I think on turn two, this should do decent damage to Glaceon. Not really. Okay. You're probably going to kill me now. Yeah, alright. So you're going you're gonna to take me down with Ice Beam, and can I use Rylu? Can I use Rylu? Can I finish you all with, with Rylu? Or should I use Gardevoir? Would Gardevoir be the safe play? If Gardevoir can't do it, Rylu will do it. Um, we'll have Gardevoir use a strong style Aura Sphere. Alright, so that's going to... That's going to take care of the Glaceon. And Gardevoir did indeed do it. Like, I'm not saying no to Gardevoir getting experience. Um, Gardevoir is only level uh, 52 now. Learned a new move, I see. But, all the same. I wonder, Dragonite, are there people even stronger than you out in the world with Pokemon stronger than yours? Probably. I'll just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, take this treasure I promised you. So that's going to be the Lustrous Globe. Alright, that is a Palkia item. When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells with power and allows this Pokemon to change form. So there are different forms of Dialga in Palkia. Are, are there, like, are we finally seeing the return of Primal Dialga? I'm told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somewhat, it's somehow connected to Almighty Sinnoh, uh, to Sin, or to Mighty Palkia, I mean. Um, and since Mighty Palkia's power is with you now, I'll entrust the Lustrous Globe to you as well. Thank you, Dragonite, for everything. So that is the Pearl Clan's treasure. I'm guessing, three Comet Shard, Jesus. I'm guessing that, um, I didn't stop over in, uh, in Diamond Clan's camp, um, in the Marlins, but I'm guessing that I'm gonna want to do that. Oh, cool. You're all trying to update your, your vocabulary with the, the terminology for, um, the big, like, monster dragon thing that we discovered at the top of the temple. Anyway, so I did see on the map, I believe this is going to be Adamin, in all likelihood, has some kind of, uh, some kind of thing for me. And before I get too close, uh, let me actually look at my team. Uh, who do I want out front? When I go up against Adamin, Braviar is probably the smart choice. But I do want someone else to be at the forefront and getting experience, so let's go with Gardevoir. Alright, Adamin. Let's see, what do you have to say for us? You gonna have us fight some, some Eevees as well? Hey, if it isn't Dragonite, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Do tell. Did that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Alright, so we are in all likelihood gonna battle. That's the survey core spirit. Curiosity is what moves science forward, according to good old Mr. Professor. First name Pokemon, last name Professor. But come to think of it, what I found seems too valuable to just let you in on it for free. You need to work a little. All right, so we are gonna fight. I want to show you, I, I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul, and sure, battle me. All right, so that's how we do it here. Um, and it's on, time to see what you've got. Here I come, knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Alright, Adam, and what do you have? So, um, Iridia had a, uh, an Espeon, a Flareon, and a Glaceon. So you're going to have a Leafeon, a, I see a uh, Wisp right there, an Umbreon, and a Vaporeon. Alright. I can... Let's see. Leafeon's going to be the level 64. Um, I have a Ferrotite move I can use on, um... I can use that on Umbreon, get Umbreon off the field nice and quickly. Let's see, but I think, once again, unfortunately, Typhlosion's the one who faces off 
against the level 64. And I'm probably going to want to concern myself with Leafeon above everything else. I like Leafeon. If I had a chance to, like, pick up an Eevee at any point in this game, I want to say I have, but I don't remember exactly where. Anyway, my offenses are going down. Annoying. You're going to use Leaf Blade, not very effective. Uh, that's why I like Leafeon. Like, that is the one thing that Leafeon does that I really like. But anyway... Uh, let us strong style and overheat on Leafeon, and with or without the offense debuff, this should be able to take you down. Uh, Leafeon has somewhat higher physical defense than special, and there goes Leafeon. Alright, so my offenses are going down again. I probably can deal with a level 32 and a level... Th Ow. Ow. Okay, I avoided that one. I probably can deal with... Well, I guess that... Assertion is a little out of date now. I don't think I can deal with a level 32 and a level 32 if they're gonna be if They're gonna be like that and if I'm gonna be at like minus a lot on my offenses But we can send in Gardevoir. Gardevoir is going to go and use Draining Kiss on Umbreon I know that's the weaker move. I guess I didn't even need the HP restoration I don't know why I did that. I could have used Moonblast. It would have one hit KO'd you just fine but um Alright, you're going to use Dark Pulse. Now I could use the healing. So this is going to take down the Umbreon. And that's probably going to heal me a decent amount the way back to full health. Alright, thank you very much. There goes Umbreon. And lastly, we've just got a... Uh, just got a Vaporeon. Alright, so Vaporeon's probably going to be the most annoying one to deal with. Um, can I... Agile style that, get some HP back, and then do it again, strong style, and then probably be... Be able to. Alright, that really didn't do very much at all. Um, Vaporeon has uh, a lot of both special defense and HP. But we're gonna strong style that. I should be healed probably back to full health. And I should be good to go from there. Alright, one more of those and this battle's over, I think. Yeah, we, uh, we recovered back to full health. Quick attack. Not so. You're gonna do that again. Alright. And with one more draining kiss. Uh, good game, Adamin. All right, there goes uh, there goes the Vaporeon, and we have we have won this battle. All right, Riley gained a level. I do need to check to you to see if you can if you can uh, evolve finally, because it's been a little while. You're really something, and I'm a man of my word. So here's the treasure. So you are gonna give me the uh, the adamant crystal. I I almost called it the adamant orb, but apparently the, those are not the um the items in this game. So that's going to allow us to, uh, to turn into Primal Dialga and play one of, the, one of the best songs in the history of video games. The Primal Dialga song from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon used to be like all over the place on YouTube, Remix, and cover um, like community on the internet. But I haven't heard it in a really long time, and that's really a shame because it's really good. Um, definitely one of the first uh, video game remixes that I heard, um, just like ever, period, full stop, was, uh, Pokemon Remix Studios, Primal Dialga cover. I think he ended up actually ultimately doing several. And then, over the years, many, many other people did, did their own. Uh, I've got a friend with whom it's a bit of a meme, um, in fact. But I, I haven't heard much of it. Why am I walking? I can fast travel. I haven't heard much of, uh, Primal Dialga in the last couple of years, which is really a shame. What? Alright, fine, whatever. While you're doing that, whoever that is, I did see that one wisp somewhere. And it was visible from, like, here. Um, I don't remember exactly where. But it was visible during the cutscene. The festival attended by everyone and the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. I have zero recollection of what this is, but I'm glad you had a good time. Being able to spend time with this scan in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Dragonite, Lena, ah, I'm sorry, Polina here has something she wants to discuss with you. Am I in trouble? All right, you should also hear this, Iridia. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Oh, Firespit Island. Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. My, you speak in such disparaging terms, d disparaging terms of the seat of my lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, Iridia. No, Lena, I didn't... Oh, stop with a silly nickname in front of others, won't you? 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get this, to this fire spit island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out here. It's Sinnoh. How hot can it be? It's late afternoon. The sun's going down. Anyway, let us head on over to Fire Spit Island. So I'm kind of expecting that um, somewhere in the in the crescent, I was hoping to put a camera on it, but I guess it's not that easy to see from here. But somewhere in the crescent is probably where you find Cresselia as well. Just, just going off a random hunch. Um, but I can, um, oh, there's also the spring path that I never, like, really figured out what was going on, um, around. But I can, uh, fast travel to the molten area, and, let's see, exactly, okay, so, oh, wait, is there a cave here? I completely had no idea this was here. Has this been here the whole time? Hey, dragon, I thank you for coming so far out of your way. Uh, word in this can. Isn't Lena joining us? Um, about that. Uh, seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she'd asked us to check on the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. What? The nerve- She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. I'm sure she might know ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Anyway, Dragonite, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Alright, so, whether or not we've always been able to go here and I just didn't notice... Uh, we can now enter the cave, and I'm sure there's gonna be a Heatran somewhere down here. Howdy. Alright, careful, Dragonite. So, I have someone- Ow. I have someone who probably can take on a Heatran, and that someone is gonna be- gonna be Garchomp. Oh no, alright, is this gonna be a regular- Um, that was not the Y button. Is this gonna be like a regular, uh, one of those, one of those bomb battle things? I dropped two Comet Shards!